X-Men 97 turned out to be exactly what we thought it would be, exactly what it wasn't supposed to be. Either way, we're going to review it. We're going to take a look. Let's get it out. So here we go, X-Men 97. Something I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I was never really a fan of the original X-Men, the 94 X-Men. I don't maybe I saw it or maybe I did. I don't really remember that much about it. I think I remember Bishop before and I thought he was pretty cool. And as far as it goes with what did I say in X-Men 97, I liked it. I, I'm not going to say I loved it, and I have some criticisms, but overall, I, I thought they did a pretty good job, and maybe, just maybe I have an idea of where I think they're going or what, what they're trying to do with this. So someone who was not necessarily the, you know, I'm, I'm a big giant X-Men fan. I, I love the Jim Lee, like I have every comic book that Jim Lee ever drew of the X-Men just as like a setting. So, but, so some of this went into new territory for me. So I didn't really know what was going on and I'm not sure what, hold, what, what the future holds for the series. I think it's pretty obvious that they're going to get a second season because all, I mean, it says to be continued. But it also, it's very common for these animated series to get a second season because it's just the nature of the beast. Once you animate one season, it's very easy just to do a second. It's basically free money for them. Just like Velma, too. You know, Velma got a second season. So I don't see any reason why X-Men 97 won't get another, se like another season. But they did fire the showrunner. So where the plot goes seems to be kind of up in the air. And like I said... I was not familiar with this this Bastion plot that they were were talking about, so it was all kind of new to me. But let's there there will be spoilers, but let's just talk about the show in itself. It starts directly; it's a direct sequel to the last episode of the original X Men animated series, which had it where <clears throat> Professor X is dead, and the X Men have to reassemble their team. And then it goes through like 20 years of plot lines in all of like f six episodes or eight episodes, wh which whichever it was. I think it was, maybe it was eight. I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember. I can look it up. Uh, but you have like the whole uh, Madeline Pryor, Jean Grey, like all of a sudden Jean Grey shows up and she's not, she's, she's got a clone, but she doesn't have a clone and Mr. Sinister's there and there's a plot. And then you have all of Geonosha, which is like the home to the mutants gets destroyed. You have the big reveal that Gambit dies. And then it all turns out to be that all these humans around the world are all like sentinel hybrids. They didn't even resolve like what, what, what happens to those people because I, I don't really know. Are they robots? Are they people? Very strange plot line. I liked it. I, I didn't love it, but I definitely enjoyed it. I thought, you know, Mr. Sinister was was fine. And specifically around the last episode, I, I, I have a couple of comments. One is, it was freaking me out that Cable, who's like a 50, late 50s, 60-year-old man who keeps having these Fifi conversations with his dad and his mom, or not his mom, and they're like, hey, son, and it's like, Yo, this dude is like the soldier's soldier. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have fifis about this stuff. I, I just didn't like any of that. I, I, I don't want Cable. From what I knew, Cable in the comics, he had no backstory, no origin, and I didn't necessarily want or care to know whether or not he was Cyclops' kid. And they spent way too much time on that. So that I didn't care for. I didn't care... Like the Magneto Professor X thing was bizarre in the sense that like <laughs> they were real afraid to talk about Magneto's origin story. They did not want to mention Auschwitz or the 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 prison camps. They definitely didn't want to you know label him as Jewish. Apparently, they just didn't want to do any of that stuff. Not interested. He just kept saying, like, I'm cold, I'm cold. The, he was in this bar that means nothing to him when he's inside of his own psyche. And he's just like, the water is so cold. Did you notice, Easter egg, in case you didn't catch it, when Rogue is on the boat there, if you look and pause it, you can actually see Magneto's children are on the boat with him. Well, not with him, but with Rogue. 
You have Wanda Maximov and Pietro, right? So Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. And then you also have Polaris there, too. So that was kind of cool. I mean, this thing's chock full of so many Easter eggs. I will say, as far as a non-criticism, I like them throwing in, like, Iron Man. I'm not going to lie. Daredevil looked pretty wicked. I would love to see Daredevil. I'd love to see, you know, Spider-Man 2. That was pretty cool, seeing Spider-Man Peter Parker. That was amusing that all of them are like, we can't do anything. We're just going to sit here and die as as uh, Asteroid M crashes into the Earth. I, I like seeing Doctor Strange. Like, Doctor Strange couldn't make a giant portal and make it go away. I, I feel like he could do that, but, you know... To each their own. Let's let's let Magneto solve these problems. I do not like that they fridged Wolverine, and I trust me, I understand that they pulled out all of all of Wolverine's skeleton got pulled out of his body, but I do not like that they fridged him. That he could not participate in any of the rest of the story. And uh, yeah, I think I didn't like they ran through the Shi'ar stuff so fast, and and the marriage to the girl. Like I no, I don't need. I was like I don't remember any of this stuff. You had to watch the old series in order to understand this, and I don't like having to do homework for things. I like stuff just to stand on its own. So those things I will complain about, but overall, I will say it was good. I enjoyed it. And um, maybe it's some of the people that I, I talked to that actually enjoyed it more than I did. And, and their enjoyment allowed me to enjoy it and be a little less critical. I'm not going to give it any higher than like a B. Y you know, it's 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 like a 80% for me. But, you know, other people might like it more. And I, I don't blame you for that. So let's take a look at uh, three biggest takeaways I didn't even like. I like Gambit, and this was some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen them do with Gambit in general, in any form, like live action or animated. And I, I really liked it. It's a shame they killed him off, but I don't mind it. I mean, if that's what they wanted to do, fine. So be it. It built on the success. It successfully built on the legacy of X Men: The Animated Series and set up a, a season two. All right, that's cool. Spoiler warnings, right? I, yeah, I thought it was terrific is a little much, but I thought it was very good. What are the three things they want to take away? Marvel cameos. Yes, there was a lot of Marvel cameos. I like seeing all of the Marvel cameos. It was fun. And, you know, they felt like it was a living world. Captain America already showed up once. Daredevil and Hell's Kitchen. Doctor Strange, Peter Parker, Mary Jane, all those people. Yeah, I think I named them all. So that was pretty cool, seeing all those guys. Um... There was a bunch of, there was, yeah, there was King T'Chaka, which is T'Challa's father. That was pretty cool. Uh, I got to see Psylocke. I thought that was pretty nifty. So all those people were really cool. And I feel like there was even more. Uh, there was, um, there, there was like the Russian Avenger type people with Omega Red, you know, all, I, I just, they just jammed way too much into this. That was my biggest concern, right? If you didn't know the very ending, that is Apocalypse. And I hate this origin story for Apocalypse, but it is what it is. I guess he's like the first mutant, right? And uh, I did thought when, when I saw when Rogue was fighting Bastion, I think he was fighting her on the moon. I thought I saw a temple to Apocalypse there too. So that was that was pretty nifty. I'll take that. Uh, what was the... Th there was no third thing? Okay, well... They said there were three takeaways, but I, I didn't see the other one. Marvel cameos. What's the other one? Building on the legacy? Okay, what? Whatever. Um, it was ten episodes, by the way. So, I, I didn't realize it was that many episodes. New York Times. They, f they find it more timely than ever because, you know, the message that's hidden in there whatever it was fine and i want to i actually want to give kudos to uh the original showrunner bo D uh, what's his name bo demont we'll, we'll get to him but he did a great job a lot of people were concerned about how it was gonna go this was fine all the voice acting was fine i thought it all worked its way out there was a lot of people worried about it but i thought it was pretty good you know, I would recommend it. If you want to watch it, that sounds cool. I feel like X-Men is an interpretation for whatever you want it to be. Because they're like, oh, whether mutants are coded as black people or Jewish people or LGBTQ+. plus, It's whatever you want them to be. It's just humanity not liking the different. 
Oh, that was the one thing. I didn't like uh, the Phoenix came back. And she's like, nah, it's cool. Day of Phoenix came back. Oh, my gosh. It's so powerful. It's fine. Gone. I don't feel it anymore. No more. I re I'm not going to eat any more planets. I promise. All right, Jean Grey. You do you. Uh, but let's take a look at this last piece here. They So, Bo DeMeo started talking about what, what else was happening. Oh, by the way, spoiler for Season 2. I suspect, if I had to guess, Apocalypse will bring Gambit back as one of his horsemen so you haven't seen the last of gambit as i, I suspect they will, he will bring him back resurrect him if you will because the x-men no one ever dies which is a thing i guess this was a big thing everybody was kind of irritated about and i i don't care i thought it was fine morphs romantic interest in wolverine i thought they handled it very it, it was fine classy whatever you want to say Bodomeo was confessing romantic feelings for 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 uh for what's it for Wolverine. It's fine. I thought it was fine. I'm okay with that. You know when you're secretly in love with a close friend and you're terrified to tell them? What if you get to turn into someone you know they love and say the words finally just to feel accepted? It sounds creepy, but sure, whatever you say. Uh, and they're like, so it's one-sided? Yeah, it's fine. It's one-sided. Hey, whatever. It adds a little bit more intrigue. I'm okay with that. I don't know why he got fired. Like, why? They still won't tell anybody. But he still clearly cares about it. And you know what? He was a man, and I did a whole a, a whole thing about it right here. There's a video that I'm going to do up here where uh, this guy, you know, they hired him. He checked a lot of boxes for them when he hired them, when they hired him. But he said he worked on The Witcher, and he said, I'm going to make sure that nobody on my team disrespects the property, that it, you have to be a fan of it. Clearly, he's a fan. Clearly. He's read the comics. He knows about it. He says he's a mega fan. I 100% believe him. Kudos to him. A lot of people were concerned that he was going to take it in a weird way, and he just he kept it... Kept it true. He clearly likes all of this material. Was it too much? Was it too fast? Yeah, I think so. But at the same time, hey, kudos to you, man. Bodomeo did a great job and uh, was a man true to his word, which I thought is, is something respectable in Hollywood, where he said you have to respect the source material, and he did. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Were you worried it was going to be too weird? Did you avoid it? I, I I think it's worthwhile watching. It was it was pretty cool. The action was really good for an animated series. It's very specifically fan, fans of that particular show. I watched it because why not? I watch everything else on Disney Plus and review them. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. I'll be very curious. I do respond to all your comments. Like and subscribe. It really helps. We really need to push. We need those subscribes. You know, we're going through some things here on the channel that we could use the support on, and I always forget to do it. So if you could help us, that would be great. A lot of YouTube creators and content creators, whatever you want to call us, YouTubers, are struggling, and we could use your help. So give us that like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithms. Uh, check out our full-length audio podcast on iTunes, and you can also catch us on... where? Else? Oh, yeah, we live stream from 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights, here on YouTube, you can also catch us on Rumble. So you'll, we'll see you there. Maybe I should stop saying the R word and just say the green place you go to also watch. But we do appreciate you guys. You know, there's a big lawsuit going on now where they're suing Google and they're not getting the ad revenue. And, you know, we have to support where we get our bills paid from. So thank you. We love all y'all, though. And uh, I am on to the next one.